All right, February 11, back in Urban Discovery Academy. So as you guys can see, the CMU blocks are slowly going up. So far we got three rows and they're gonna keep going up until they cover all the rebars. And uh, this rebar pretty much like holds all the other rebars in their place so they don't fall down. And on the floor, we got all these other rebars kind of going to the side. And we also got these things. Not sure what they are. So we have these rebars and we also have this. It looks like a rebar, but maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Who knows? go forward and in here it seems like they haven't they're not they're not done installing the big rebars from here to here so I don't know and I'm not sure if you guys can see or not but we also have rebars going horizontally inside the CMU box so all these rebars at the end of the day they're gonna make our wall stronger and some of them have this safety feature they put a cap on it so no one gets hurt but I guess we don't have enough caps that's why not all of them has it you go over here you see this beautiful room getting built And that then only has to be because I'm not sure what these are. The footings. They look nice and clean. And we have this box in here. So I assume there's a box in here to make sure no one damages these four these four faults or dots so we go in here we got our scaffolding all right here okay. nice So the workers they have plenty of room to walk around. It just it's more than one board. On the top floor, there's like one, two, three, four boards. Second floor, two boards, and the first floor we got like a bunch of one boards. So it's it looks safe. Now let's see how they're attached to the ground. I'm checking it out because a couple days ago I watched a video on YouTube and this guy was saying that when scaffolding is not attached properly to the ground they're gonna damage the concrete underneath so let's see He said there might be some cracks if it's not attached properly. And as of now, I don't see anything. So what I would do differently is, yeah, so as you guys can see, you should put boards on it. You should. You shouldn't just drop the scaffolding right on top of concrete because this might damage it. So what I would do is I would make sure all the all the scaffolding um, columns there is a board underneath to make sure the concrete 
is not being damaged. And we got all of our rebars in here. That's plenty of them. Alright, let's go here. And these are electrical, I think. I think they're electrical. Now let's go check out inside of the building. Okay. So the wall is covered. I think it wasn't covered before. Yep. They passed up the wall. Nice. Now in this column, let's go check out its footings. Yeah, you guys can't see it, but pretty much like for four hours, I was digging, I was digging this column, trying to find the length of the footings. It was a pain in the ass. Yeah, these are nice. Let's go check out the second floor, shall we? Well. Okay. So the roof's still not done. But the floor looks pretty nice. There's no more damage flooring on the ground. Now what are these? Hmm. I'm not sure what these are. Oh. So we have like all these metals going out that direction. I'm not sure what they are. I'll find out. Okay, looks clean. Yeah, all the windows are out too. Yeah, all the windows are out. And uh, if you want to go check out the roof, you have to go from there, which I'm not going right now because I don't feel like going. And let's get a nicer view of Urban Discovery Academy. It's a whole thing. So hopefully when the school is done, you guys can come and look at it and see how the construction was. And how your school looked like when it was getting built. A lot of hard work, man. Not easy. All right, that's about it. Next week.